What is the difference between them, between these two women? They are two different forms of poetry. So now we understand why Dante had to been talking about the imagination all along. Because this is really what will introduce him to the stakes in claiming to be a poet. This is what he's been talking about, the actual faculty of himself as a poet. And the cantos that will come, 21, 22, to 26 and 27, constitute the most important segment about ways of understanding literary history, literary tradition, uh, or the place of originality within uh, that particular history and so on. We are going to enter the world of poetry more directly. So there are two different women. They speak two different voices. One sweet, meretricious, and false. That's the sweet song. The other one very harsh, who says the journey is not over. One forecloses the journey of and the quest of Dante. Uh, be like Ulysses. I know that you want to be like Ulysses. You can stay here with me, and I am the end of all your journeys and your quest. The other one is claiming exactly the opposite. The journey has to continue. These two types of uh, songs, the song of the siren, sweet, which has also the stench of death attached to it, the stench of the decomposition of her body. And on the other hand, a journey by this austere voice, the voice of maybe the voice of love, the voice of harshness, no, rather than just the, la the language of, uh, of sweetness, uh, is, is uh, that of uh, 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 love as an ongoing quest. That's what she's saying. So two forms of love, two forms of poetry, two types of women. The scene, in case you're interested in this, that many of you, I'm sure, have thought about it, literally uh, stages. The, the, the scene at the beginning of the consolation of philosophy uh, of Boethius, which in turn is thinking about, who in turn is thinking about uh, the book 10 of the Republic by Plato. Uh, the idea of the place, the place of love and the place of poetry and, and philosophy. Dante changes that tradition. This is not just poetry versus philosophy. It's two different types of poetry. Poetry can be also a philosophical poetry. Poetry can be meretricious, and poetry can be also the, the sort of uh, rigorous, severe form of investigation of oneself and the world. Two different types of poetry, two different types of loves, two different types of women. Which of the two is better? How can we go on deciding that one is better than the other? Is there an objective pattern, an objective criterion by which we can say Beatrice is actually better than the siren. Does Dante, is Dante aware of this idea of, uh, yes. And the reason is going to be the following, very simple. The avoidance of death. The siren is the figure that stands for death. Underneath the pleasures of her language, there is a stench that emanates from her. Underneath that allegory, Dante sees the danger of closing and the danger of making the here and now and the limitations of the here and now and the limitations of that song the end of his journey. It's really a choice between an open-ended quest and the foreclosure of the siren. This is the only way in which you can ob objectively believe that there is a hierarchy between these two loves and between these two women.